This is Drosor madagascariensis from Botswana, South Africa. As you can see, it's quite tall, and I just measured the tallest one to the far right, and it is four and a half inches tall. It developed some really nice red coloration on the oldest leaves, and the newer leaves usually re remain a greenish yellow color. I don't know if you can see this very well in the video, but the tentacles remain red if you give them enough light. I usually like to feed this as much as possible because it encourages uh, adaptability to warmer temperatures and it will remain thriving in around 90 degree temperatures as long as you keep feeding it, at least in my experience. I recommend the propagation method of stem cuttings. At the end of the season around this time, once it gets kind of lanky and tall, I like to trim them back to the ground and take stem cuttings on the top parts so that you can generate you know, six new plantlets from what we have here, or I guess full-grown plants once you get them established, and then you'll get a bunch of new plantlets growing from the roots. Once they pop up from the ground then in the spring, you can just feed them, and I'll show you a little plant, that, I don't know if you can see this very well, but I can't even see it very well. Regardless, they were around this size in the spring, on the smallest one in the middle of the camera, so if you feed them often, they'll get around this height in, in just about a half year. So this is Drosura madagascariensis from Botswana, South Africa, and I highly recommend it to any grower.